sights are on the air. Tonight, direct from ringside at the arena in Cleveland, Ohio, you'll see a 10-round heavyweight tussle between knockout artist Sonny Liston of Philadelphia and rugged Willie Vespinoff of Munich, Germany. Vespinoff recently whipped Marty Marshall, the only man to have defeated Liston as a pro. Currently ranked third, Liston has drawn a bead on the heavyweight crown. Your fight of the week is brought to you. Good evening, everyone, from Cleveland, Ohio, where tonight we have the young man called the hardest hitter in the heavyweight division since Joe Lewis, indeed called by many experts, the uncrowned heavyweight champion, Sonny Liston. He has awesome power. He's given us some exciting fights. Indeed, he has been on the, his last three outs have been on Wednesday night fights, and those three appearances constituted less than 12 rounds of boxing with a six-round and two three-round knockouts. Tonight, however, he goes against Billy Bespinoff, a young man who has never been knocked off his feet. So if Sonny Liston can add him to his list of knockout victims, it'll take some doing. Liston now has won 18 consecutive fights, 14 of those 18 by knockout. We're just about ready to go, so let's get up into the center of the ring, and here's the ring announcer, Tommy Dwyer. Your attention, please, ladies and gentlemen. Matchmakers Ed Bang and Larry Atkins present 34th annual Christmas Fun Boxing Show. The ring officials assigned here by the Cleveland Boxing Commission, Chairman David Ott. Your judges are Herb Williams, Charlie Bill, your timekeeper, Jimmy Lee, counting for the knockdown, Tom Grant, your referee, Mike Minnis. From Milwaukee, wearing a black trunk, 201, Willie Besmanoff. Philadelphia, wearing a white trunk, weighing 210, Sonny Liston. Referee's instructions to the boxers. <laughs> Gentlemen, you know I am here to enforce the boxing rules. Now, uh, you know and understand those rules, and of course, you're expected to abide by them. A word of caution. If I am forced to penalize you for any illegal tactics, now, I'll do so by deducting one or more points from your score for that particular round, and that could be the difference between winning and losing this contest. Break willingly and cleanly in your clinches, and keep in mind that the compulsory eight-count knockdown rule is in effect. You must take a minimum of eight counts in the event of a knockdown. Good luck. Let's go to work. Another contest to follow. If you're scoring tonight's five here in Ohio, it is five-point must system. Five points to the winner of a round, four or less to the loser, and even round giving each fighter five points. We're looking into the corner of Billy Bespinoff. That's his manager, Eddie Metri, leaning over the ropes. And this is Sonny Liston in the white trunks. Bespinoff looks a good deal shorter than Sonny Liston. Actually, is not. Uh, Bespinoff, when he straightens up, is six feet tall. Liston is 6'1". Off, keeps that uh, head pulled down between the shoulders, fights in a semi-crouch or a crouch. Looks quite a bit shorter than Liston. Uh, he does have less reach than does Sonny, and so you'll see him getting inside as he is right now throughout much of the uh, evening's contest.
Rudolph off in 41 victories. There's won 15 by knockouts. He doesn't have the knockout record as uh, Sonny Liston. And the bulk of his uh, knockouts have come from his left hook, which is his big punch. Liston could turn out the lights with either hand. There's one minute left here in round one. seconds left in round one. <laughs> Ten seconds to go in the first round. Now we're ready for the second round. We're looking into the corner of Sonny Liston there as he moves out at the bell to meet Willie Besmanoff. Billy, born in Munich, Germany, now lives in Milwaukee. Became an American citizen, actually was reinstated to uh, the status of citizenship in October of last year, 1958. Besmanov keeps those gloves at the ready, and uh, Sonny Liston hasn't been able to get to him with anything big as yet tonight. And inside, Besmanov has been able to uh, throw a little jolting pokes to the body and to the uh, chin of Liston. opened over the left eye of Willie Besmanoff. A cut over the left eye of Besmanoff. He's blinking now as the blood is coming into the corner of his eye as it trickles down from the eyebrow. to go. We're in round number two. seconds left. Round two. There looks to be a double cut at the eye of uh, Besmanoff. One at the eyebrow line and then another one just above the cheekbone alongside the eye. Ten seconds to go now in the second round. But it's bleeding quite heavily. Besmanov had one TKO loss on his record because of a cut. He's in there now, and Angelo Dundee coming through the ring ropes, one of the best cut men, and this is ready to go to work on that damaged optic. Eddie Metri, his manager, the baldish gentleman to the left, in there looking over the work, and the referee comes over to have a look at things. That's Mike Minich. 
And uh, the doctor's coming up now to take a look at that cut as well. That's Dr. M. H. Lambright, who now leans over the ring ropes to take a look at the cut. It didn't look from here, and of course, this is really a layman's medical opinion, like it was sufficient cut to cause a stoppage of the fight as yet. But uh, the doctor's there to check it out, and the referee now is over there to hear what the doctor has to say, and uh, Dundee continues to work on that cut eye. Vesmanov has never been knocked off his feet. He has been stopped by a TKO with a cut at one time of the fights he has lost. Round number three coming up. A heavy swab of uh, grease is over that uh, eyebrow where the cut was inflicted. The cut on the cheekbone, and now we can easily see, since the bleeding has been cleared away, that there were two cuts in the outer corner of that left eye, the lower one bleeding slightly, but that is in no position to bother his vision. Sonny Liston dug a left hook into the midsection, just to the left of the midsection of uh, Bestmanoff. That was really a thumper. to go in this round and uh, Besmanov is taking a pounding now he is cut inside the mouth and is bleeding inside the mouth as well as the cuts around his eye to go round number three it looks like a pretty good cut inside the mouth of Bessman off bleeding fairly well in there and of course that is a weakening injury to a fighter tends to nauseate them tough thing to live with and here it has happened to Besmanov in the third round we have 30 seconds left there's been no great worsening of the damage to the eye of Besmanov it looks to be just about the same as it was when the cut was originally inflicted. Bleeding a little bit now, but it hasn't been worsened. You're looking into the corner of Bill Bespinoff as the bell sounds for round number four. The third round was a punishing round for Bespinoff. He scarcely able to get off a single punch and took plenty. The doctor did not visit Besmanov's corner during that round, or that interval between rounds. As I mentioned, there was no additional damage to the cut eye. Liston bouncing some shots now off the chin of Besmanov. Besmanov retaliating to the body, but uh, he's taking some shoulders there, but he can take a lap. He handles a punch well, does Bill Besmanov. Handling a Liston punch is the supreme test of that ability.
concentrating right now on the hook. One minute to go. Round number four. Besmanov keeps that right glove up high to protect himself, but a little bit forward, and uh, Liston is hooking around that glove to come in on the side of uh, Besmanov's jaw. seconds left. Round number four. Ten seconds to go in the fourth round. the bell that ends round number four and this is Sonny Liston headed back to his corner ranked number three among the heavyweight contenders behind Floyd Patterson who is number one and Zora Foley who is number two he's won 25 out of 26 his only loss was to Marty Marshall in his preliminary days and uh, Liston beat him twice later once by a knockout he was born in Pine Bluff, Arkansas. His education ended in the ended in the eighth grade. He may have moved to St. Louis in his youth. Worked since an early age, managed to get into trouble as a youngster. And it was in a reformatory to which he was sent that he learned to box, developed an interest in boxing, and uh, is delighted to tell how that interest in boxing straightened out his life. A priest there, Father Stevens, encouraged him, brought him to the attention of St. Louis Colum Burns, who got him into the Golden Gloves, where he was undefeated became Midwest National and International Golden Gloves champion. Now round number five. Continuing to paw out with that right glove on defense. And we'll see Liston hooking around it. A feint by Liston will bring that glove out. There he goes. in the white trunks against Bill Besmanoff. A heavyweight fight here in Cleveland, Ohio. Close to 8,000 people in attendance here. And we have one minute to go. In round number five. seconds left fifth round
Seconds out of the ring. Round number six coming up. Sonny Liston in the white trunks out of the right-hand corner against Bill Besmanoff. The mouse is forming alongside the right eye of uh, Besmanoff, discoloring the outer corner of the eye. His left eye was cut in the second round. Listen, jabbing with the left and then getting underneath the protecting elbow to crunch his right hand into the rib cage of uh, Besmanoff in an effort to get that guard down so he can shoot the right hand across. shot bangs on the chin of Besmanov but he's still standing listen banging to the jaw of Besmanov again but this boy is a toughie to go in the sixth round. above us now and a left hand has split the right eyebrow of Besmanov as he takes terrific punishment in this corner. Both eyes of Besmanov are cut but this one over the right eye is a severe cut. Ten seconds left in the sixth round. Besmanov now right eye severely cut. Besmanov back into his corner where Angelo Dundee goes to work on the eye immediately. Let's keep an eye on that corner. And uh, meantime, fans, next week's Wednesday night fight will come to you direct from ringside at Convention Hall in Camden, New Jersey. Whoop, there it is. The corner says there's no use trying to stop that one. Across the ring goes the referee, Mike Minich. And this bout has ended at the conclusion of the sixth round. Now, don't go away. We're going to have a special four-round bout coming up. A bad cut, a severe cut over the right eye of Bill Besmanov ends this fight at the end of six rounds of fighting as he was battered with that cut opening up in the corner right above our microphones here at ringside. In a few moments, we will have the uh, official announcement on this fight. Here's the ring announcer, Tommy Dwyer. The winner... On a technical knockout in the seventh round, Sonny Liston. Sonny Liston gets a, an official TKO nod in round seven since the sixth round had ended, and according to Ohio rules, a fight stop between rounds gives the TKO credit to the next round. Billy Besmanoff with a bad cut over his right eye and the fight stop by his corner, Sonny Liston, the winner. A cut over the left eye of Bill Besmanoff was opened up in the second round. He was cut inside the mouth in the third round. And now at the end of six rounds of fighting, that bad cut over the right eye forced the action to stop and uh, gives to Sonny Liston now five consecutive knockout victories or TKO victories. 